Welcome to CPU and to cut straight to the chase, I got the M1 MacBook Air in 2025 for only $350 on eBay. And I'm going to be unboxing it in this video. Now, I will use this laptop for all my programming, computer science, and data science needs, as well as develop iOS apps and whatnot. I probably will also be using this for web development, and I actually have a site below if you're interested in anime and manga that I made with this same laptop, link below in the description. Anyways, you'll probably see future videos relating to programming, and it will be done all on this laptop. Alright, let's get this thing out the bubble wrap and clean it off. Now that we've got it looking fresh, let's take a deep dive into the hardware inside this bad boy, the M1 MacBook Air, while we set it up with Apple ID for the first time. At first glance, the MacBook Air retains that signature sleek and lightweight design, it's crafted from 100% recycled aluminum, making it both premium and environmentally friendly. Weighing in at just 2.8 pounds or 1.29 kilograms, it's incredibly portable, perfect for students, professionals, and casual users alike. Opening it up, we're greeted by a stunning 13.3 inch retina display with a resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixels. This means crisp text, vibrant colors, and deep contrast, all thanks to Apple's True Tone technology, which adjusts the white balance between your surroundings. Now let's talk about the hard machine and the reason I bought it. The Apple M1 chip. This custom ARM-based processor is built on a 5 nanometer processor and features an 8 core CPU with 4 high high performance cores and 4 efficiency cores, a 7 core or 8 core GPU depending on your model, this one is a 7 core, a 16 core neural engine for AI and machine learning tasks. This chip provides incredible speed and efficiency making everyday tasks feel buttery smooth. Boot times are nearly instant and thanks to the unified memory architecture, apps load quickly with minimal lag. The M1 MacBook Air comes with 8GB or 16GB of unified RAM. In my case, I got the 8GB model, but this ensures seamless multitasking. Storage options start at 256GB and go up to a 2TB SSD, offering fast read and write speeds that significantly reduce loading times. One of the biggest advantages of the M1 chip is power efficiency. Apple claims up to 15 hours of web browsing and 18 hours of video playback, which is miles ahead of most Windows laptops in this class and I can say that with confidence because I actually sold my Windows laptop to get this machine. In real world use, you can easily get a full day's work on a single charge. Apple finally fixed the keyboard issues from the previous generations. The Magic Keyboard provides a comfortable typing experience with solid key travel. The Force Touch trackpad is spacious, responsive, and supports precise gestures. The M1 MacBook Air keeps it minimal with two USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3 ports and a single 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. While some might miss traditional USB-A or an SD card slot can always use adapters or a docking station. Running macOS, the M1 MacBook Air takes full advantage of Apple software optimizations. Native AppFly and even older Intel-based apps work seamlessly thanks to Rosetta 2. You can also run iPhone and iPad apps directly on this laptop which adds a whole new level of versatility. Now this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't show you guys the accessories I got for this machine to add my own personal flair to the device and dress it up a bit, making it look a bit more modern. First off, let's start by installing the screen protector to this bad boy. This is completely optional and I may actually take it off soon, but for now I'll just add it on to see how it looks, though I'm pretty confident I won't destroy the screen. After some struggling, I finally got it on after battling the air bubbles. Next, I will be adding the all black case I got from Amazon for like $30. It's sleek and it fit my vibe, you know? I also don't care that much for showing that I have an Apple machine, as a lot of people seem to flaunt the Apple logo, but I have a strong resistance towards materialism, and don't get me wrong, I love the Apple design, but I also like when things are kept to their silhouette. This case helps me do that, and it looks amazing to me. Then I got a sticker with the important Apple shortcuts that I may use. Now this sticker is very important because this is my first Mac, so I need to learn fast and swiftly so I don't become a Mac noob. I've always been a Windows boy for like 11 years now, ever since I was like 8 years old. Then to top it all off, I got a USB-C to USB and HDMI adapter because you never know when you need that. And that pretty much completes the build. This right here will be my programming machine and I'll most likely push it to the edge with my data science and experiments soon to be done. Remember, check out the website that I actually built with this laptop after making this video if you're interested in anime and manga and you want to track your series. For the past two years, I've longed for a Mac device so now having it feels very unreal and it's gonna be fun. But anyways, I'll hopefully see you when I see you. Until next time, you little nerds.